Good morning. It's Melody Lane here. I, I used to say that on my vlog, I think. Is that where I did that? Oh, it says my stream is bad. It should be good. Let me know how it is. Can you hear me? Let me move my iPad. It's in the way of the microphone. Can you hear me? Can you see me? There is a delay. Good morning, Joan and Jamie and everybody. Bobby, our cheerleader's not here. Maybe he'll show up later. Um, hi, Glenda. Okay. Um, if some of you got the email about this video being writing and drawing, I had it all planned for writing and drawing, but um, that's changed to next week because as of last night, the images I want to use have not been released. And they're awesome, so I really want to use those to teach you. And so I had to, most of you know I have an assistant, Callie. Uh, for my live video, she sets up the videos in the on YouTube for me, and she sets up the emails, and she sets up, um, she schedules the posts on Facebook and stuff to go out ahead of time to remind you. Well, we had to delete the picture I showed you. I couldn't even share the thumbnail I made. I couldn't share... Um, had to change the name, so she's on vacation now. So I had to go in and change everything last night, uh, but I forgot to change the title of the email. So that's why. But we have an exciting class for next week, and hopefully an exciting video next week. So um, I, last minute, I changed it to a Q&A class. So if you have questions, <clears throat> about design space. So uh, I thought I would show you the scoring wheel on the maker. For those of you that have the maker, I'm going to show you how to change it from the scoring wheel because now anytime you score, it's going to um, want the scoring wheel. But you can switch it back to the stylus. You do not have to buy the scoring wheel. It's optional. It's amazing, but it's optional. So... Um, and then somebody, I shared a picture last night on social media about um, just how excited I am about all the tools I have because I have the scoring tools and everything. And people are like, well, what tools are those? Can you do a video on how to use the tools and what they are? So I thought I would start out with that first. So if you're interested in the blades and what they for, are for, I get this question all the time. And um, then if you have questions, put them in caps and I will find them. But if you can, the best thing to do when you have questions and you really want it answered, put it in all caps. Copy it if you can, because if I miss it or we're going over something else, I don't have to go way to the back. Wait until I'm more ready for questions and then paste them again. That way I'm going to see your question and other people will see your question. Somebody in the uh, comments may answer your question, but I would like to answer questions uh, if I can too. So let me start out with this. You are watching Melody Lane. With me you're going to have a great crafting time. Okay. So... Here's a blade. Everybody should recognize this blade. Everybody who has an Explore series or maker has this blade. This is the, this should be a premium fine point blade or German carbide blade. I think they're the exact same thing and they just changed the name and they changed the packaging. Replacements for this Here's how you take it out. You just take it out like that. Replacements for this and to put it back in. I push that in. I don't think you really have to put it in and put it in that way. And just push it down. I push it down with my nail and the little part here, not the tip. Although I could do the tip, but I don't want to ruin the tip or cut myself. Um, when you buy the replacements for these, these are the red 
caps or white caps. They're changing the packaging, I think, to all white caps. And they say premium fine point blade. If you go on the website, you're gonna see a red cap and it may say German and you will receive a white cap. It's the same thing, okay? So that's this. Do we have any questions on this? We also have these two. These two are the exact same thing as this. They're the same. The same blades, different color housings. That's the difference. They call the pink one the bonded fabric blade. The reason is if you're cutting paper, with the silver one. The paper dulls your scissors, paper dulls the blade. Just like with fabric, fabric, um, you have different scissors for fabric. And I know when I was little, if I knew somebody that was sewing or something, my mom's, um, or my friend, my friend's mom was sewing all the time. She's always sewing. And uh, we'd go play at her house. If we went to her sewing room and took her scissors, oh my gosh, you would think we just uh, stole a million dollars. You know, you do not use fabric scissors. Or yeah, you do not use fabric scissors for paper. So they stay sharp. So this one will stay sharp if you keep it for fabric. If you don't cut fabric, it's okay. You can use it for anything you want. The gold one is the same thing. I What I do, okay, to be honest, I don't do it. But in my head, the best thing to do for me, this is for paper, this is for vinyl. Vinyl does not dull the blade as much as paper. So the paper one, depending on how much you use it though, the paper blade, cutting paper will not last as long. So I cut po poster board and all acetate and all those things. Thanks for subscribing, Tanya. Um, so if you want to you keep your blades longer, you'll use one for vinyl, one for fabric, and one for paper. Does that make sense for these? I also want to let you guys know, um, I did a video the other day giving away a ticket to the Cricut Makeup Fun. So you'll have to go watch that video, enter. There's lots of ways to enter. Okay, so we're good on those. Does everybody understand the difference in these three blades? There is no difference. But it's good to have the different colors so your blade will last the longest. But if for some reason you're using paper and your paper blade and you don't have a replacement, just put in another one and then use this one for paper and then get a new blade for your fabric. You know, that type of thing. Okay, we're good. Okay, now we have this one. This one, if you put them side by side, Oh, I was thinking it's longer. I'm like, wait a minute, it's shorter. I was thinking the opposite. Okay, so the black one is the deep, oh wait, the deep cut blade. See, I have paint on my nails. Um, it's shorter. The needle, I don't know. Can you see? You can't see it that close. Well, if you look at them, maybe with a magnifying glass, you can see the point on the deep cut blade is a little longer. Like the sharpness is longer. The point is smaller at the bottom of the point. So not only is this for deep cutting thicker materials, it's for intricate cuts. And we have to thank Jamie, the moderator on my channel, and the admin for my Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane Facebook group, she discovered that. So thank you, Jamie. <clears throat> hey, Michael. Uh, thanks, Jamie, for discovering that the deep cut blade is good for intricate cuts. Now, if you're just using it for intricate cuts and not for deep cutting things, you can use the deep cut blade in any of these other housings, okay? 
So you can actually use the refill for the deep cut blade in these housings. You don't have to have the deep cut blade if you're only using it for intricate cuts, but I prefer to have it just so I know which blade is which. It's just easy to switch them out and to know which, what is what. Does that make sense? Any questions on the deep cut blade? This can be, to be honest, I don't really use it for much deep cutting. Uh, the only deep cutting I've used it for is foam. Like the fun foam or distressed foam from Cricut. Um, the faux leather, I just use the regular blade, just the silver one. Um, this one cuts most things. Um, so I, I've used this for the distressed foam from Cricut and just fun foam from the Dollar Tree or something too. So just a little thicker things. Okay, we got that. Okay, now these blades that I just showed you are for all the machines, okay? All machines. Um, and then we have the rotary blade. This rotary blade comes with the maker. So if you have a maker, there's something on it, like a little hair or cotton. Um, this comes with your machine. It is like a big handheld rotary cutter for fabric and it rolls across and cuts. This does not work on any of the other machines. Any of the tools with a gear like that does not work on the other machines. This doesn't fit in. The Cricut Maker has 4,000 grams of pressure. The Explore machines only go up to 360 grams of pressure, okay? So they, the Explore machines have more plastic insides. The Maker is more metal insides, so they don't break. So many people ask, why can't we just upgrade to these tools? Why couldn't they make these tools for the Explore? Why do we have to buy a new machine? Because the other machines don't have the pressure and it would break the insides of the machine. That's why the maker costs so much more because it costs them so much more to make. It's made with stronger materials to withstand the pressure that they need to cut the materials it cuts. Okay, so I hope that makes sense for everyone. Okay, and then the knife blade. The knife blade has the same gears. And I have video on changing the knife blade. I'm not going to show you that now. Um, this cuts balsa wood, basswood, only up to, I think, 1 16th of an inch and on the help Cricut help has all those dimensions and everything it does it does leather it does thick leather it does tooling leather it does um, chipboard up to two millimeters it does not cut cheap chipboard well because it's not chip Cricut made their own chipboard because they made it to work well with this. They made high quality chipboard. Small chipboard does not cut as well because it's more fibrous. It's not made to cut in a machine. Um, if you, now, so, okay, Beth is asking, is the knife blade or deep cut blade for work, wood? The knife blade is for wood. The deep cut blade, some people have cut very thin wood on the Explore machines. So you may be able to cut bass or balsa wood if it's like uh, 1 32nd of an inch. That's possible. Some people have cut very thin wood with the deep cut blade. And you have to like go over it like 10 times. It has to cut it like a lot. So it's possible. But the easiest way is with the knife blade. Yes, and the maker does everything else the Explore machines do. Anything the Explore machines do, the maker can do better. You know, like that song, anything you can do, I can do better. 
Or is that how it goes? I don't know. I just remember the mom and Marsha, Carol Brady and Marsha Brady singing that on stage in a high school play or something like that. If you remember the Brady Bunch. Um, I'm looking at the chat. Okay. And the new scoring wheel. The scoring wheel is amazing. Okay, so scoring wheels like this. Um, if you have the Explore Air 2, they have updated the score scoring depth. Okay, so if you have if you have the Explore Air 2 and you haven't used it in a few weeks, you need to go and try the scoring. It should be a little bit better for you. If you have a problem, let me know and or call Cricut and um, we can get that fixed for you if it's um, too deep. Um, okay, so the scoring wheel has a single score and a double score. So you get one, ho one housing And then you get um, the, well, there's four ways that you're gonna be able to buy this. You're gonna be able to buy it like this. You're gonna be able to buy this separately. You're gonna be able to buy them together. And I can't think of the other way. I can't remember. So to change this, it's like the other ones, you push the plunger and it comes out. If you don't, don't drop it. If you don't push the plunger, hold on. I gotta match up those shapes, you know, like those little colored boxes for kids. <laughs> okay, see, if I don't push the plunger, I can't get it in. So push the plunger. And then I cannot pull it out without pushing the plunger. Pushing the plunger changes it. And then you can change to the double scoring wheel. Okay. Um, the double scoring wheel is used for thicker materials like poster board and things like that. So you don't have those cracks in it. So they're for thicker materials so it doesn't crack. You know, like if you were to fold poster board, the like the foil poster board in half, it kind of you kind of see a crack. It's not a real clean score or fold. Does that make sense? So that's what the double one is for. They also say the double one is for glitter paper. I like the single one on glitter paper. Is what I found for myself. Um, what else was I going to tell you? Uh, somebody asked about the pink maker. I don't know anything about the pink maker except for it's going to be on HSN. Um, oh, I was going to show you the difference in the scoring on acetate. It's more cost effective to buy the set together, to buy both of them. Yes, yeah, so you will get two lines, but when you fold it, it's only one line. Because it's so. Okay, now where'd it go? They're so close. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's going to focus. Um, let me find. Oh, I can show you this. I did acetate with all of them. Okay, so this is my acetate I scored with the scoring tool, the scoring stylus. This scored this. You can't see any score lines. 
I can't see any either. It didn't work. Okay. This one was scored with the, see how all those score lines, that they're diagonal and straight. This was scored with the scoring wheel. Okay. Scoring wheel that scored really well and it's easy to fold. Then I tried the double scoring wheel. So this is the double scoring wheel on acetate. I don't know if the double is actually recommended for the acetate. When you choose your material in design space, it will tell you to use the single or double. There is no discount on the scorer unless you have access. If you have access, there's discount on everything. Bobby! We all have to yell Bobby when he walks in the room, kind of like Norm on Cheers. Okay, so there's the double score wheel. Okay, now here's the single, or this one is the scoring stylus. I can barely, barely see a line going across the bottom, but I can't see anything else scored. So it does make a difference. Uh, scoring wheel with both scoring wheels are 49 scoring wheel housing single scoring wheel housing is 39 and then I think 1999 if you just want to buy the double like if you want to buy it later if you decide you need it okay I went over all the tools. Do we have any questions? Oh, you want to know what we're making? Hold on. So with those score things, I made this box and <laughs> this lid that I never stuck together very well. So it's one of my diamond boxes. My Patreon supporters and sponsors have a link to this box I created in Design Space. This one is made with a sparkle paper, the new Cricut sparkle paper. Isn't it pretty? It's not very bendable, but and the glue doesn't work with it very well. I had to find some double-sided tape. Okay. Yes, any tool that has this metal thing and this gold up here are all for the maker. So if you just tuned in, I explained why these are only for the maker, so you might want to rewatch that part. Um, is that it? Okay, let me go over to Design Space. That's not Design Space. There it is. Okay. My two nephews, thank you. She has a thumbs up goal for me. So if you would please like my video and she has a goal of 150. She only needs 50 for more. Uh, she says 314 people watching only 98 thumbs up. Okay, so I wanted to talk about the score tool thing because even though you don't have a score tool right now, it's in design space and you have to switch it from the score tool. Myrtle Johnson is asking, how do I match the RGB or CYMK color codes in design space? I don't know. You can put in the code for this. The, I think this is the hex code. Other than that, I don't know the answer. Okay. 
Why in the print and cut the registration border isn't bigger, it wastes paper? I don't know why. Susan asks, can I copy another image from one project to another? No, you can't. Sorry, not my rules. Okay, let me go, we're gonna click make it. We have a star here with a score line for no reason at all, just to show you this. Okay, here it is, we're gonna continue. It's gonna select my maker. We're gonna set material. Let's just do cardstock for now. And it's gonna say scoring wheel, but you don't have the scoring wheel. So does that mean you can't score? If you keep it like this and try to continue, it's not gonna let you do it. You have to go to edit tools. It's not a big deal. Just click edit, choose your tool. Choose the scoring stylus, continue. So now it says load your scoring stylus, load your fine point blade, and then load your mat. That's all you have to do. Let's check out more things. Let's click acetate. Oh, we need to edit tools. Oh, I don't want the scoring stylist. Do I have to click? Huh, all right, we can't switch it back now. Let's go back, we'll try it again. Yay, we met our goal of the likes. Let's get 500 likes. <laughs> Maybe not today. Okay, let's hit continue. Will Cricut bring back the clear acetate? I don't know. Oh, uh, we're gonna click acetate now. Oh, it still says this. Well, I'm gonna have to contact Cricut and say, I wanna switch it back. Edit tools. Huh. We want to cancel. Let's delete. Let's refresh. Okay, we're going to add a shape. We're going to add a score line. It really doesn't matter if it's in the center. We're not cutting it. We're going to make it. We're going to continue. It's going to click maker. We're going to click acetate. And it is still the scoring stylus. So good news for you guys. Once you switch it to scoring stylus, you can't switch it back. Okay. Now we gotta figure out how to switch it back. I guess I'll figure that out. I I don't know why we can't figure, can't change it back. All right, so let's go answer more questions. Log out and log, log back in. No, I don't want to save. Be amazing. Okay. Okay, let's try it again. Fingers crossed. Nope, it's not. 
I don't think this will change it. So once you change it, you can't change it back. But I'm going to call Cricut and find out why that is. Okay, Karen has a question. Uh, when I create something in DS, what I think are equal measurements end up being off when set to cut. Is there a way to tell before cutting that the measurements are correct? Um... Let's, okay, let's detach this. So we just have a square. Let's make it exactly three inches. So it's three inches. No, we can't tell exactly. We can move it on the one inch mark. But because that line is cut, it's really hard to tell because that white line is cut. It looks like it is, but no, I don't know. It should stay the same. Thank you, Nancy. Why can't I move my images in DS when I'm on my iPad without enlarging them? You should be able to just tap it and then move it. If you're enlarging them, then you're clicking the bottom corner. I think you're touching this corner. If you're touching this corner, or if you have two fingers on your pad and moving them in and out, you're not really enlarging the picture, you're enlarging the canvas, not the actual image. Yeah, maybe if I clear my cookies, that will help. No, I didn't make it default. I just chose it. There wasn't, there isn't a way to make it default for the scoring wheel. Oh, Carol, I'm not sure what you mean about a preview pane before cutting. You can see stuff here, and then when you go to make it, you can click on each mat and see them. And so when you ask for things like that, be as specific as possible. You can go up to the three dots here and um, go down to the very bottom and click Feedback. Put your email, leave them a comment, uh, receive updates on it, and send. So then if they have more questions and stuff, they can email you back. Did you guys know that was there? You guys can send all that that you want me to ask on your own. Yeah, you can't delete fonts from Design Space. If <clears throat> you don't want to see the Design Space fonts because you have so many of your own. Um, you go here, you go Cricut, and then only you only see Cricut fonts. You go to System, you only see the fonts you have on your computer or iPad. So there's no reason to delete Cricut fonts. Just click system fonts. Now the scoring wheel doesn't need to be in the maker to choose that because it doesn't test it until after you hit it.
Yeah, when you change the blade and scoring wheel, it goes into the blade part. Even the scoring wheel does. Yay, you're learning something new. Yes, you can score it more than once. If you're doing a project and you click on, if you're scoring and cutting, and if you want it to score again, what you do is do not unload your mat and hit the C button again on your machine. So if you hit the C button, it will do it again. And sometimes if I don't want it to cut and I just want it to score again, I take my blade out because I usually forget to stop it after it's scored. I showed the double scoring wheel. Where's the best place to buy fonts in Design Space? Thank you, Connie, for being a sponsor. <laughs> I don't think Cricut Live Support is on right now, and I'm not really going to call the support. I'm going to call other people at Cricut. Connie, now you uh, have the access to all my files, and you get an extra entry in my giveaway for the make a fun and you get that by going to my channel and clicking on community and then there are some sponsored only posts yeah the cricket fonts have a lot of writing fonts lots of writing so what i do is i filter to writing fonts and then i also click writing here and this is something somebody uh, told me they didn't know. You can make it italic, not every font, but a lot of the fonts, or bold. It's not in all of them. It's only some of them. And then it's on writing. There are lots of writing fonts. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Hello. Um, I don't like that. That's cute. Loop de loop. Love affair. And then you just move the letters closer together. Okay. You do not need to tell the machine it's a double score wheel. The machine will know if it's a score wheel. It does not care if it's a double or single score wheel. It will tell you, that's what I was trying to get it to do. It will tell you what wheel to use. I love my two nephews. Thanks you for sponsoring. Thank you. Maybe if I open a new tab, do you think? Let's canvas. Oh, it's designed now since they changed their website. Whoops. If I just search design in my thing, um, it will, hmm. Okay, let's add a score line. I'm just gonna add a score line. Okay, yes, reset connection, because it's connected in the other tab. Nope. It's still 
the score tool. I have to figure that out. I'll tell you next week. Okay, let's go back to questions. Jessica, if you're on Patreon, you should be able to get the files. You need to be signed in. And you should have received an email with from me with all the links. No, I don't think a different material will matter. Oh, look at that. I was wrong and you were right. I apologize. Why is that? Oh, well, I don't know. Because it should be this wheel with acetate. Huh. Heavy chipboard. Now that is weird. Pearl paper. Okay. Acetate is not, and I used acetate with it. Craft board. Thank you so much, Trisha. And thank you for telling me to change the material. I didn't think that mattered. Huh. That is good to know. Glitter cardstock. See now I click on glitter and it says double scoring wheel. So it suggests the double one, which is O2. It has a little number on it. Vinyl. <laughs> you can't really score vinyl, I don't think. Huh. But maybe because I changed it from acetate I can't change it back. So if I can't change it back, I'll just choose another material and lie to my machine. Um, somebody says click on the scoring. Thank you, Lynn. Nothing happens when you click on the scoring. I can click on edit tools and I'm not changing it back to scoring stylus. The wheel, I used the wheel on acetate already. It suggested the wheel. I'm not going to try changing it, see if I can change it back. I'm afraid I can't. I have to learn how to change it back first. If you don't have the scoring wheel, can you just use the double one twice? No. Uh, the glitter paper suggested score double scoring wheel, and I actually liked it better with the single scoring wheel. It won't hurt if you just use the single scoring wheel. The only possible thing is it may crack on the fold or something and not look great. Patricia Ann says, how do I check to see if I'm still a Patreon and a sponsor because I never get my free stuff? Okay, Patricia, for Patreon, you should get an email every time I post. And I've posted a lot this week, especially. There's been a lot of posts and you should have gotten an email for every single one. Um, and for the sponsors, you have to go to YouTube. Um, you have to go to community. So 
If you click on community, you'll see the sponsor only post. See, this one says sponsors only. So you have to go get those. On Patreon, um, you should be getting an email and you can message me on Patreon and I will give you the links to, on how to navigate Patreon and um, the link to the post with all the files. It scores and then cuts. The wheel cannot work on the Explorer. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, we do this every Saturday morning, 11 a.m., except for the end of July and 1st of August. I'm going on a road trip. So July 28th and August 4th, there will not be a class two weeks in a row. Uh, Jessica, um, check your messages on Patreon. If you go to Patreon and sign in, and go to messages or notifications. You'll have links and there's a link there on how to navigate Patreon. Once I choose a font, how can I uh, change it without retyping? Great question. Okay. Hello, I typed it, I double click on it, I can change the wording or click up here and change the font. It's that easy. If you have ungrouped it, It is no longer a font together. They're all in separate layers. You can double click on it, change that, change the font. You can change this one to a different one. If you have attached it, it will not let you do it. Let's detach. Now you can. If you weld it, you have to retype it. That's the difference. Now Janet's telling me to click on Edit Tools, then click on Scoring Box. It won't let me. You can't click on the box. Oh, you said click on edit tools. I'm afraid to click on this. I don't want to change it. Okay, you might have withdrawal, but I'm going to be live streaming my trip. We're going to be in a car for me to get to Salt Lake City, Utah, to the Cricket Makeathon event. It's going to take 56 hours one way. Then we're going to, after the event, we're going to Vegas in the Grand Canyon. And then it's going to 61 hours on the way back. We're going to take a whole different way so we can see a different part of the country. 
Okay. Yes, yeah, so you can still use the scoring tool with the um, maker. You just change the tools. Glenda, I tried that and I, she asked me about this, is it hot in summer? Summer cartridge about changing some of these and you can't, well, some of them you could maybe take me to the beach. Um, where was that one? Does that see you at the beach? See, it just depends on the image. There was one about lake, wasn't there? I don't give a flock. I like that one. Oh, this is the wrong one. That's why. Hot summer days. These are all in access, guys, if you haven't seen these. This one. I think that's so cute with the lake, though, with the fish. But let's look at all of them while we're here. These are all in access. They're all free for you to use. If you have access, sorry. Oh, I love that. That is so cute. Uh, they are in layers, and you can hide some parts. Um, okay, let's ungroup. We're going to contour. So we can contour this word out. I don't know why I didn't do that last night when I was playing with it. Okay. And then you could add your own word, but it might not match the font unless you have a font that matches it. And some of these are not fonts. Sometimes they make them by drawing and things like that. So there might not be a font. Um, let's say life is better at the pool. We gotta change that font. Um, I know I'm scrolling really fast. I don't know. It's not perfect, but you know. Oh, um, could even curve it. <laughs> but the word is so. Let's let her space them closer. I would work on that. Oh, you could add. Um, a pool toy or something in it. Okay, let's go back to questions. Corrine, I think you will be able to change it back. Okay, there's lots of questions. For those of you having questions about Patreon, let me give you a link. 
There are hundreds of files. There's two or three hundred design space files of mine that I share and with sponsors. But this one will only go for Patreons. So that's the link to like six links to other projects and categories. And then you um, scroll down and go through the categories on each post. Thank you, Ronald. Okay, Mary Stevens just did a test on DS and she was able to change the tool back on acetate and cardstock. That's great. That means it should work and it's just not for me, which is great because it'll fix, I'll fix it. Maybe I need to turn my machine off. Hi, Angela. I'm, you guys, I'm reading chat, so I'm really sorry. Uh, Laura says, Melody, do a Melody from the car, like Ken does Ken from the car. I'm going to be live streaming almost the whole thing. My son is going to go to, he's going to be doing most of the driving. My car actually drives itself, but he'll be sitting in the driver's seat and he has a channel called Beard Adventures. He's also going to be live streaming it. We're going to, well, we're going to go back and forth. So when I'm not live streaming, he's going to be. Unless we're like using the restroom or something like that. We do have to do that. <laughs> we're going to do that when we stop and charge at Tesla Superchargers. And if you're watching, you'll know where we're going to be. And you can come meet us if we're in a town near you. I am on a Mac. Do you think that matters? Lisa, Rob is asking, how do we know if we have the latest version of Design Space? You have the latest version of Design Space. It's impossible not to. Because the plugin thing, it will update for you. You have no choice. If you're using it, it is the latest edition. Unless you're on the iPad app. That's possible. You have to go to the App Store and update. Okay, I'm reading your questions, trying to answer them all. None of the tools with the gold, um, uh, what's that called? The, I want to call it a cog, but. Is that what it's called? We'll work on the other machines. Yeah, Glenda says, Mel is the original live from the car when I moved to Florida. I streamed driving from New York to Indiana to Indiana to Alabama and then Alabama to Florida. I went around the long way. The gold gear. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, it is a cog. Okay. Okay, if you guys just joined and you want to learn all about these blades, wait until we're done with this video and you can rewatch. The very beginning is all about all the blades available 
and not available right now that work on the machines. They're going to be coming out with more, too. I don't know what they are. They haven't told us, but they're coming out with more. I will be coming back through Texas. I shared on Facebook. Oh, let me see if I can share for you guys. Okay, so class is usually over at noon. So now let's talk about my trip. <laughs> if you don't want to talk about my trip, you don't have to. Um, can you guys see that? So I'm starting down here and I'm going up through Georgia, Atlanta, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Then, okay, this is a little weird. When I bought my car, I did not buy the biggest battery available for my car because it was $17,000 more. It's not worth it. I don't drive enough. If I would have bought that one, this trip would save me 10 hours and I would not have to drive to Missouri to charge, back to Illinois, and then to Missouri, I could have just went straight up that way. And I could, my car will make it from this one straight to that one, or from this one straight to this one, actually. That's what we would do. We wouldn't go around Illinois. I have enough if I fully charge here. But the Teslas, when you charge, it takes a long time to get your Tesla from 80% full the battery to 100%. So it's actually faster to not charge it all the way, go up here and charge it and drive here. Taking the long way around is faster than charging it to 100%. But if we wanted to like stay in a hotel here with a charger, we could do that and just let it charge while we sleep and then go straight up there. It just depends. But I'm planning on driving straight through if possible. I don't know the site to identify the font, Glenda. Sue says it's what's the font? This is minor Missouri. Then we go to Mount Vernon, Illinois, and then we go to, oh, it says right here. Um, We go to Macon, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Cookville, Tennessee, Brentwood, Tennessee, Kudawa, Kuda, Kudawa, Kentucky, Minor, Missouri, Mount Vernon, Illinois, St. Charles, Missouri, Columbia, Missouri, that's over by St. Louis, Independence, Missouri, Topeka, Kansas, Salina, Kansas, Hayes, Kansas, Colby, Kansas, Goodland, Kansas, Lyman, Colorado, Loveland, Colorado. Those are around Denver. Oh, yeah, here's Denver. So here's the two in Colorado. And then we go to Laramie, Wyoming. Rollins, Wyoming, Rock Springs, Wyoming, and Evanston, Wyoming. And then Salt Lake City. So that's my trip there. Well, if you watch my video live, in my video, we're going to be saying, thanks, Ronald, <laughs> some gas money and extra snacks. Uh, this, oh, we're going to be saying like where, when our next trip is and about what time we'll be there. Yeah, I don't, my gas, can you, wait, let me see what you guys can see. Oh, can you see? We're saving $307 on gas because all these superchargers are completely free. This trip is not costing us anything except for food, hopefully. <laughs> um, let me, I haven't, you guys, I have so many tabs open. Um, here is my trip on the way home. So we're hitting the bottom half of the United States. Because this, this, this is not just a trip for us. It's an adventure. 
Okay, and we want to see the country. We're going to, well, we're going to go to Salt Lake City and then we're going straight to Vegas. It's only six hours away. And then we're going to Las Vegas to the Grand Canyon, which will be three hours. We're going to hit the sunset, sunrise. Do you guys want to know the dates? We're leaving Salt Lake City August 1st, around probably one o'clock or so. And then... We're going to hit the sunset and the, we're going to Vegas for two nights. We're hitting the sunset Saturday morning at, at Saturday morning. We're going to be at the Grand Canyon for the suns, not the sunset, the sunrise. We're going for the sunrise. Once we see the sunrise, take a little video, see little things. We're heading back. Whoops. So then... Okay, then we have to go to the Charger in Kingman, Arizona. And then we're going to Wickenburg, Arizona, Cords Lake, Arizona, Flagstaff, Arizona, Hallbrook, Arizona, Gallup, New Mexico, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Santa Rosa, New Mexico, Tucumcari, New Mexico, Tucum I don't know how to say that, Amarillo, Texas, Shamrock, Texas, Weatherford, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, and these are all at Tesla Chargers. Admore, Oklahoma, Denton, Texas, Lindale, Texas, Shev Shevaport, Shrev, Shrevport, Louisiana, Monroe, Louisiana, Pearl, Mississippi, Glen Granada, Mississippi, to Tupelo, Mississippi. I've been there before. Uh, that's by Memphis and Athens, Alabama, Steele, Alabama, Oxford, Alabama, Atlanta, Georgia, Macon, Georgia, Tifton, Georgia, Lake City, Florida, and then the villages where I live. Okay, now let me go read your chat. Uh, Cricket came out with a new color of pink for the maker. It will be on HSN on July, the night of July 10th. So that night at midnight Eastern, 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 9 p.m. Pacific, it will be on HSN. <laughs> Joan, you're funny. You do not have to have time slots assigned for charging. You just go there and it will tell you ahead of time how many are charging. I've never seen them full or even, well, one of them on the Florida Turnpike was almost full. Um, it takes different times depending on how far you need to go. It actually tells me all the times right here. So in Mrs. Pearl, Mississippi, it's 65 minutes. In Granada, I only need 40. Tulupo or Tupelo, Mississippi is 75 minute charge. Uh, Athens is only 30 minutes. Steel, Alabama is only 15. It just, it knows how long you need to go to get to the next place. And this is another reason why we're going to live stream it, because people are interested in this. Uh, they keep building more and more Tesla chargers, so um, they're getting more and more popular, especially with their Model 3s. I don't, I don't know how exhausted I'll be, because driving in a Tesla, you don't get as tired, because you're not really driving. You do have to pay attention when you're in the driver's seat. And they say keep your hand on the wheel, but the car really does all the thinking. It actually is more responsive than humans. Thank you, Tamara. Uh, no, I don't think it takes you to 80% charge each time. I think it, thank you, Judy Miller. 
I think it just takes you where you need to go. It's not going to make it so you're empty when you get to the next one, but um, it, it's the car is smarter than we are, I have to say. No, Sue, I didn't plan the trip. This did. All I had to do, let's say I'm going from the, the villages. Okay, why did it take me to the UK? Okay, <laughs> cancel route. Okay. We're going from the villages. And then let's say we're going to Spokane, Washington. Do you guys know who lives there? And click get route. And then the software does it for you. I can do this in my car. This is, I usually do it in my car. And actually all I have to do is say, drive to Spokane, Washington, and it does it all for me. The car is smarter than us. Okay, so it tells you where you where I need to go and how long I need to charge, and it would take 71 hours, 3,173 miles to get to Spokane. And it would also take me through Kansas and part of the way that I did already. I have, uh, I'm not gonna need caffeine. I do have caffeine pills though, but I can sleep most of the way. Oh, Longview wants to know how to get rid of all the useless practice files in Design Space. Um, I can get rid of this one. I already did it. You just delete it. So click the three dots and delete. And I guess I can delete it. it. Says, are you sure you want to delete this project? Deleted. Yes, the Penny, that's a great question. The charging stations are always near um, something. So uh, some of them are just at hotels. Because, so, you know, when you're traveling, because superchargers are made for traveling, because when you're not traveling, you charge at home. So I have to charge at home, and it I don't have to ever, like, go to the gas station or go anywhere to charge it. It's just always charged every time I want to go anywhere. So they usually put the superchargers near shopping centers, restaurants. Some of them are even at some gas stations, some nicer gas stations where there's like food inside and stuff. Um, they're usually at uh, places. I know that one in Topeka, Kansas, that's at an Arby's. And then there's lots of shopping around there too. So we won't have to take extra time to you for restroom breaks and food breaks and we won't be s tired of sitting in the car for hours and hours because we get out at each one so it's not like a trip where you're just in the car for eight hours at a time jessica says what if a car cuts you off then my car will stop or push on the brakes really fast and it will also beep, like not beep, like the honk, the horn, but beep to us to alert us something happened. And it usually does it before we can even do it.
So I'm really the, I've, I'm really excited about this adventure because I've we've never done this in a Tesla. I've gone on road trips from like Chicago to Florida where it takes two days, but never um, in an electric car where you have to charge. And I think it's going to be better. Oh, there's one by a Joann's. Actually, the one in Topeka, Kansas is near Joann's. Debbie Keller, that's a great question. Have you noticed a large increase in your electric bill at home? The Since I've gotten it, the largest increase in my electric bill was $20. My last my before I got this car, my highest electric bill was one hundred and seven dollars. My last and this is Florida. I have my air conditioning set to 70 most of the time. And my last month's electric bill was one hundred and nine. So, no, it's not costing me much. It does go up a little. Yeah, I'm pro I'm a real good sleeper in the car, but we're going to be live streaming. So I'm going to be talking to you guys, but I might be quiet. Like, I'm not going to talk the entire time. If you come on with questions and stuff, I'll try to read them, but I might, if I might be asleep. I don't know, you might hear me sleeping. My son might have to wake me up. Yeah, I think this is going to be really exciting. And I, if somebody, I have watched some other people do road trips, but they weren't actually live. So I would love to watch this if somebody else ever did it. Dawn, that's a great question. Does it matter how you drive, like fast or slow? Will the battery life depend on driving habits? Um, we're going to have it in an autopilot. So. Um, we can set the speed, but it does depend on how fast you drive because I have seen videos, it's never happened to me, but I've seen videos where they set to go to a supercharger and they were not going to make it to that supercharger. And, um, it tells you how much battery you'll have when you get to your trip. It does that for me. If I say, you know, drive to Michael's, it tells me where my battery will be at when I get there. Um, but it, a notice came on their dashboard that says you must drive below 55 miles an hour in order to make it to your next destination. So it does matter how fast you go. So we're not going to be speeding. <gasps> Sue, that's amazing. She got Tesla solar panels on her house. I want, they have solar tiles, like your r whole roof is a solar thing. That would be awesome. Yes, Trisha, that's what I'm saying. Glenda, I don't need to make a scrapbook. I'll have YouTube videos. Yeah, I, we're going to be speeding at least five over the speed limit. But I don't want to. We don't need to do too much. All right, guys, I think that's it. Next week, we're going to do writing and drawing with some really awesome images that aren't yet in design space. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna go try to get my nails done. Why is there more space between stops going than coming? I don't know. Maybe it just depends how the chargers are. Oh, yeah. Because I am going a different way.
Lynn, my lips are sealed. Ha, <laughs> Sue, that's funny. I, we're leaving on July 24th in the evening. <laughs> Joan's so funny. Love you. All right, guys. I love you all, and I will see you in this coming week. Yeah, there might be more stops if I'm going uphill. Thanks, guys. <laughs>